integrate the cosine of 2x. Let's go ahead and work it out. Solution. So first, notice that if it was just cosine of x with respect to x, you would ask yourself, what is a function whose derivative is going to give you cosine? Because we're integrating. So working backwards, we would get sine x plus a constant c, right? Because the question is, what's a function whose this derivative is cosine, the answer is sine x plus some arbitrary constant. Now here it's cosine 2x, it's a little bit different. So what we'll do is we'll make a u substitution. We'll call this piece here inside the cosine our u. So we'll let u be equal to 2 times x. Now we'll take the derivative of both sides. So the derivative of u is du, and the derivative of 2x is 2 dx. Now you'll notice there's not a 2 here anywhere in the integrand. So what we'll do next is we'll make this piece look like what's in our integrand. So we need to get rid of the 2 in order to do that, so we'll divide by 2. Now here we have du over 2, so typically we can write that as 1 half du. That's a thing we often do in these problems because we're going to factor out the 1 half in a minute. And this is equal to dx. Okay, now let's carefully, 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 carefully make the substitution. So dx is equal to 1 half du. So I'll go ahead and pull out the 1 half and then put a du. So the only thing that's been replaced is the dx, right? dx is equal to 1 half du. What's left is the cosine of 2x, but we know that's cosine of u. And so now we can use our powers from before, right? We know when we integrate cosine, we get sine x plus c. So this is 1 half sine u plus c. Except we know what u is. u is equal to 2x. So this is 1 half sine of 2x plus our arbitrary constant of integration, capital C. And that is the final answer. I hope this video made sense, and I hope it's been helpful to someone out there who is learning how to integrate. That's it.